Hey guys, how's it going? Today I don't have a standard news video for you. Today we're going into kind of like the tutorial side of things, as I have fantastic news for anybody that owns a Quest. You now finally have access to a much larger library of games and just features and upgrades in general directly from inside your Quest, which is absolutely fantastic. But do you know what else is fantastic? The sponsor of today's video, Veil. Veil is a multiplayer first-person shooter for VR. It has been five years in development and is finally coming out in beta next month. You can, however, request access early right now by just going onto Steam and clicking the Request Access button. With five years of development behind them, this game is certainly going to be one of the most polished up first-person shooters in VR. There's something in Veil VR for everyone. They've got custom lobbies, matchmaking, social experiences, 5v5 competitive game modes, and also casual game modes. You know, in case you're not into the competition. Not only is the game's community inside the game itself, but you can also check out Veil VR's Discord community down below. So in case you guys want to join the community already, but haven't requested access to the beta, make sure to check out their Discord, as well as of course, the link to the Steam VR page, where again, you can request access. But here's the kicker. This is the really big event. If you guys are into VR FPS games and think you have a chance of being good at one, Veil's beta launch is going to be followed by an esports tournament, where the finalists will be flown out to a LAN party in Miami and compete for $35,000. I think it's fair to say this is probably one of the largest VR tournaments to date. So, you know, if you think you have a chance, make sure to check it out. And of course, the people that contacted me about this entire thing. Thrillseeker Media Group is hosting an open casting call for all VR influencers that might be interested in promoting Fail VR. So in case that sounds like something you're interested in, I'm going to leave a link to a form down below that you can fill out. So once again, thank you so much to Veil VR for sponsoring this video and to Thrillseeker Media Group for reaching out to me. Now let's jump straight into today's video. The world of the quest has just been changed forever. Two days ago, a new post was written on the r slash side quest subreddit, a post that will hopefully change the way we use our quest to date. I don't know if that's correct grammar. Side quest has finally arrived on the quest, and this is a completely different version of side quest. This isn't the experimental APK that they've had for a while now that you can install on the quest and somewhat works and somewhat doesn't. This is a whole new APK built from the ground up for your quest, allowing you to install, download, and featureize your quest directly from inside the quest. No PC required, no weird ADB commands at the beginning. All you need is to install the APK once and you have access to thousands of new games. SideQuest has checked. This is not against Oculus's TOS. In fact, they responded to a comment underneath my tweet confirming this. So you don't have to be worried about breaching Oculus's TOS, I mean Meta's TOS, and possibly getting banned sometime in the future. You can do this, no problem, and enjoy a whole new library of games. The whole kind of third-party store thing has nothing to do here. That's about games and apps on the quest itself. So let's begin. First things first, you need unknown sources enabled on your quest. In case you haven't done that already, make sure to check out this video right up here, which will show you how to do that. We're not going to go through that here. It would take too long. And I feel like a lot of people already have that complete. Second thing, you will need one of these two things once, only once and never again, either a computer running Linux, Windows or Mac OS X or an Android phone. If you don't have any of those, you know, go to your local library or borrow a computer just for like 15 minutes. That's all you need. I'm going to show you the two methods. First of all, we're going to use the PC. So it's really simple. Getting SideQuest onto your Quest has literally never been easier. They have a brand new easy installer on their website that all you do is you just choose the platform you're on, whether it's Mac OS, whether it's Linux or Windows, and click the download button on the installer next to your platform of choice. Connect your Quest to your PC, make sure it's being recognized, make sure you have have all the dialogues checked, you may need to check a dialogue inside your quest if this is the first time you're connecting it with unknown sources enabled. Launch the installer, again, make sure if any dialogues show up or anything like that, and have the installer install the brand new side quest onto your quest. It's that simple. Literally, there's not much more to it. Now, let's move on to the Android phone method. For this, you will require either an OTG adapter or a two-sided USB Type-C cable. Download the SideQuest app onto your phone. Yes, there's an official SideQuest app for Android 
Android on the Play Store, search up side quest and this is the page you are going to get on this page connect your quest to your phone again accept any dialogues that might appear if this is your first time using unknown sources on the quest make sure your quest appears on your phone this little led down here will turn green and then click download app side load this will download the side quest app onto your phone and then sideload it to the quest. So this is something you have to do, confirm your country and age, and afterwards you will actually need to pair your side quest account with your quest. So you better have an account. If you don't have one, create one now, I'd say. Once all of that is sideloaded onto your quest, it's really simple. All you do is you fire up the quest, go into the top right here, click on unknown sources, and then click on side quest. Now, Let's check out what we can do. Once you fire up SideQuest for the first time, it's going to ask you for a few things. First of all, it's going to ask you to pair your accounts. So enter this link onto any one of your other devices, whether it's your phone or your computer, and put in the code that the quest shows you. Once you've done that, your quest will be paired to your SideQuest account, giving you access to all your favorites and other things that you might have saved on PC. Instantly, you're thrown into this massive library of games, showing you everything that you can use and download. There is all kinds of apps here, whether it's apps from App Lab, now much easier to find than they ever were, or apps that are not on App Lab, which is of course the huge, huge bonus here, because we never had access to those before. We have essentially a second third-party store on the quest right now, which is amazing. And of course, the quest homes, the custom quest homes, the cherry on top, if you ask me, is also here. Any app that you want to install or download, just click on, click download side load, download side load side quest, click that, a little dialogue will appear the first time asking you to accept unknown sources, so do that, you may need to re-download that app after first time, click install after the dialogue shows up, and after that the app will show up under your unknown sources where side quest was earlier. So just go back to your main quest home screen, click in the top right, unknown sources, and all your apps and games that you install through side quest will be there. Now. A little note, uh, quest homes will show up there, but clicking on them will do absolutely nothing. You need to either go through side quest in the top left and custom quest homes, or go to settings, personalize, and custom quest homes. And they will be showing up there and you can select them from there. Everything is just so simple nowadays. It's, it's actually amazing. So there you go. That's how simple that is. It is incredibly, incredibly easy and gives you access to not only a whole new library of games, but also custom homes and things like virtual desktop or ALVR, things that are not available on the Quest Store, allowing for wireless PC VR and other things, maybe without Oculus Link. Now, while the whole feature set of the ADB version of SideQuest isn't available here, th things like changing your CPU and GPU level, things like changing your texture size, those aren't available here because you would still need ADB to use them. But what we do have here is a fully fleshed out SideQuest app for the quest, which is incredible. Not only is it simple to install, but it's also really simple to use. You just find what you need, and in that menu in the top left, you've got every single setting you might need. Apps and games that are from App Lab are now going to be much, much easier to find, and SideQuest will redirect you to App Lab once you click on one of those games, and apps that are not on App Lab are finally available to install and download directly from SideQuest on your quest. No ADB required. That is incredible. That is fantastic. The community over at SideQuest is just incredible. They're constantly working, upgrading the application, making it better, and just honestly making our lives easier. It's amazing, and I don't know what to say. All I can say is thank you. Thank you for working for us, the Quest community, and overall just making our devices so much better because that's what you've done here. You've given us so much more possibilities. The Quest Homes, I feel like, are such a large addition to this because th that was not available anywhere, anywhere else. I mean, you would need a proper PC to install those before or have a massive pain trying to find them somewhere on the internet as an APK file. Here, everything is nicely packaged in this one package. I love it and I hope you guys get to love it as well. But that is going to be it for today's video. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you learned something new. I hope that this helps you out and let me know what games, what quest homes and what features you use in the brand new side quest. As they said on Reddit, it will never be the same.
I'm Mystical. If you guys like this one, slap this button down below. If you disliked it, this button also works, but do tell me why down in the comment section below. Thank you so much to the Patreon supporting this channel. You guys help me out a ton, paying my bills, paying my subscriptions, and overall helping me make these videos better. Thank you to anyone that pressed the thanks button below the video uh, last time. It was actually the first time anybody ever pressed that thanks button. I didn't know if it worked or not. Now I know it does, so thank you so much for that. Join our Reddit, join our Discord. I want to see you posting your spicy memes on there. And as usual, in case guys you want to be notified about future content coming up on the channel, Make sure to smack the subscribe button with your forehead, ding my bell, and see you again in the next video. Peace.